Hello ladies and gents, Azakai here, bringing you to another video for the English version of Naruto Online, published by Oasis Games. We are going to be looking at version 5.0 preview, along with the preview page, and a look at the systems in all the event announcements. So I've got three whole tabs worth of info, well, <laughs> I have three different pages to show you. First one is the preview look. So they have their own website, so click here. Um, I'll provide the link. I'll provide all of the links below in the description. <coughs> anyway, so of course we are getting the version 5.0 preview, but this video will be released the same day that, um, not the same day, but um, on the 16th of August we are getting apparently the 5.0 update. So isn't that brilliant? The preview as new systems you can look forward to the Sun and Moon scroll currency. It will replace um, it will replace the arena ranked and survival trial survival trial shops. Just those three. Any coins you have in there will be converted. I think there is a cap of eighty thousand, but I could be wrong or some special circumstances around that. The grocery shop, I'm not too sure what that is. Then there's Team Ninja Exam. I believe it's um I believe it is the hardcore mode where it's even harder. <laughs> um group research, so stuff about um group. Hopefully hopefully you'll probably have group summons as well. I would kinda like to see um Katsuyu being added for the group summons, but I'm not entirely sure what all of these are. <laughs> and of course with the new group research we have a new position for the group it's called scientist so the new group position called scientist um, then there's the ninja collection system um, what well, this is I believe people have seen it before um, the ninja collection system probably is a bunch of scrolls for each of the elements can uh, probably not for each of the elements but I believe it will show you all the ninjas, at least. <laughs> We're gonna have to, again, I'm not very sure myself what all of these systems are. Platinum monthly card. Probably similar to the monthly card, but for some reason it's platinum monthly card, so probably an upgrade to the monthly card. Whew. Some ninja changes, skill changes, oh god. These changes will probably shake up a few things. Um. One of the changes that is going to kill me on the inside is the water main um, shark bomb eating chakra, up to 100 chakra. Yeah, that's going to kill me on the inside. It, seriously, like, if <coughs> it is impossible, I'd say, unless you have immunity ninjas, unless you have, like, a full immunity team, a water main is especially one that is higher power than you will kill you like doesn't matter what you do because in this case you'll get you now have a water main that eats 100 percent of your chak uh, 100 chakra then along with that every crit she makes um also chaoses you so your entire team's either chaos or you have no chakra to do anything Ugh. We might see very disgusting teams for those who are lower power. Along with other ninja changes such as the Senju Hashirama, the first Hokage Sage Art um, Gate of the Great God. Um, that is interesting because for what we know currently in the English version, the first Hokage does not possess Sage Art um, Gate of the Great Gods yet. I say yet. It's actually his um, Y mutation. His mis um, He gets a mystery for Sorry, a branch skill, sorry, his branch skills for his mystery. Changes into Gate of the Great Gods, where it hits three, I believe, up to three ninjas, and it immobilizes one of the ninjas along with Knockdown. But it is interesting that there is a skill change for him, even though he does not possess it. Um, then you have Yukito Ni's Edo Tensei Rodent Hairball. Um, it is his, it is her Ten Chase, I believe it's a Ten Chase. Might be not. 
Trident Hairball. I, it, I believe it is a 10 chase. I couldn't be wrong. I'm not sure what the particular changes are. We're going to have to see exactly. Then you also have um, Yagura Edo Tensei um, Rocket Armor Tower. Armored Tower. <laughs> I believe that's his mystery. Then you have Roshi Edo Tensei. Uh, it's just a whole bunch of changes with a long lava ball. Um, Hugo. Uh, Hu Hua. Hua. Mm. I'm not even trying to say that. Something Mountain. It is his barrier, along with the Tailed Beast Chakra Wall. And of course, um, the skill streams will be released on Wednesday night. Ah, anyway, we're going to look at the preview now. 5.0 is coming. Join together to protect the ninja world. General um, Good Store. Sorry, two new currencies. So the two new currencies. It will be the Sun Scrolls and the Moon Scrolls. New tools is the Strange Rock. Oh, strange Rock. Player currencies from various shops will be converting to Sun and Moon Scrolls. Daily practice rewards and events will be updated to include these new currencies, which players can exchange in the new um, general goods store. Sun and Moon Scrolls and Strange Rocks can be used in the groceries um, storage room to purchase items still in stock. New tools can be purchased in the Sun Scroll Store and the Moon Scroll Store, and new Mangatamas, Ninja Tool Packs, and clothing specific to the grocery store room can be found. The grocery store rooms will receive new stocks every day at 5. Items fully stocked will not receive extra. Mm. We then have the 5 Nature's Chakra System. Players of level 54 and above can use. <coughs> can make use of the new system requiring cultivation scrolls to upgrade their chakra. Opening the 5 Nature's Chakra page will reveal 4 positions relating to the order in which units make moves in the lineup. Each position can train 6 attributes, the General, Wind, Fire, Lightning, Water, and Earth. Training... oops, too fast. Oh, no, I can't keep track now. Training a certain attributes will increase the ninja's ability in the given position to deal and receive that attribute damage. General chakra um, pertains to damage and skills that do not relate to a chakra type. Training position 1 increases initiative, training position 2 increases control, position 3 increases ninjutsu and attack, and position 4 increases defense and resistance. Through this new system, ninja's attribute damage um, base damage can be increased creating an even stronger ninja. <laughs> so, for an example, Chuko is an Earth-style user, so if we train position 1 to increase Earth attribute damage by 10%, Chuko's mystery skill will now do an extra 10%. For those that do not know, Chuko's mystery skill actually does earth base damage. So, the mystery skill actually is not necessary. Chuko is both an Earth attribute ninja, and his mystery skill does earth attribute damage. What it <coughs> so what it means to state is that ninjas that do is not ninjas that are earth style users. Ninjas that have earth style um, earth style attacks will get a ten percent increase. So it's kind of a crazy thing to think about. But wouldn't Hiruzen Edo Tensei's mystery, which does all five elements. If he had 10% on all five elements, wouldn't that make a 50% increase? Hmm, kind of ridiculous. But that's what I think how, I think that's how the chakra system is supposed to work, which is actually pretty great, because, um, for anyone that knows, is that people who stack the um, elemental resistances basically makes ninjas like Heroes and Edo Tensei um, mysteries basically worthless. They do no damage. I mean, I myself, I mean, I can survive a Heroes and Mystery from a level two, um, 200k, and he's like 100k above me, but I'm not going to survive his, uh, survive his standard attack. That thing hurts like a birch. <laughs> anyway, continuing on, we have Theme Arena. The Theme Arena opening explanation. Haha. -ha. Opening time, the first Monday of every month, lasting for one full week. 
Huh, so it's only the first week of every month, starting on Monday. Participation requirement, a server needs to be at least 60 days old. Of course, so 60 day, um, servers that are n have not reached 60 days during competition season will not have Theme Arena open until the next season. During Theme Arena, reaching certain ranks and win amount yeah, and win amounts will gen offer generous rewards. There's, for example, there is the no main theme. If you are not required to use, your, if you are not required um, to use your main character, which four characters would you choose for battle? That is a question to you. Then there's the merciless chase theme. If the amount of chases possible were um, were are increased, well, bad English there. How will you adjust your strategy? There, and many more interesting themes are on the way. It's very interesting, actually. I find the merciless chase theme very funny because if <coughs> if you remember what Chio um, Ten Puppets what it used to be like, they actually nerfed her because the number of chases was just absolutely ridiculous, and we just what um, at, at the time it would one shot anyone, like anyone. Because you got five, um, you got five knockdown to high float and high float to repulse, kind of ridiculous. Each like five each, so you have like a total of ten chases. It, w it was pretty difficult to set up since you would need someone like Ningendo um, and Earthmane. Those two would basically be a m be a must. Otherwise, you can use the uh, um, you can use the other mains, um, but some people added Hinata. And you could just one-shot anyone. It was pretty disgusting. But they nerfed her, and again, she never, she, she never really in the in the meta, in the meta ever really, except in the extremely early days. But then again, no one actually had it. No one actually had her until um, until after she was nerfed. So it was very upsetting that no no one even uses her, except for when they want to use, um, except when they want to. Blitz through Hanzo's um, Hanzo's strong approaching. So, <laughs> with the Merciless Chasers theme, um, uh, just honest respect. There's just like any anyone that has a com combo chase will be absolutely broken in this. Can you just imagine the amount of AOE damage from those chases will deal? Oh, not to mention that if you had Minato, Jonin, and you got a total of four chases, and it just. he would be so buff. So, continuing on, we have group exam. Group exam consists of normal group exam and extreme group exam. Apparently, there are two versions. Um, each player has 10 assist points per week. If players are on different levels, uh, an assist point will be spent to enter um, at the player's lowest level. Decide carefully before using an assist point. They refresh each week. Normal um, group exam opening requirements: complete single exam at two level 120. Um, group composition groups are limited to three levels. There are 20 in total. There are minimum power and level requirements. Interesting. Regarding sweeps, levels can be swept after completion to obtain rewards. Then there is the extreme group exam opening requirements. Complete normal group exam level 20, and then your group composition will be limited to two people. There are a total of 20 levels. There are minimum power level <laughs> requirements, and regarding sweeps, extreme extreme group exams cannot be swept. Very interesting. I'm not sure what what kind of rewards in here, but since Extreme group exams will need to be completed every time. It might be a bit tedious, but there should be an auto fight option at the very least. Further details: we have new time, ah, all new time limited, limited time treasures. Wow, limited time, time limited. Yeah, I, I, it sounds better in my head. Time limited treasures because it's time limited, not limited time. It's both. It still makes, it still makes sense either way. But I just like it the other way around. Um. Well, that's just, that's just a note there. Then there's just something brand new. There is also, um, and there's actually there's like a small box here if you can see it very carefully. Um, there's 
It's just or it's just probably me. I think there's a box. There is definitely a coloration difference right around here in the background. But anyway, other details. We'll be seeing the um, time loaded um, treasures. So we'll at least see the Edo, um, the three um, Ninja Turkeys we already know, which are the Ro um, Edo Roshi, Edo Yagura, and Edo Yugi um, Yugito. In the future, we'll see. I believe Utakata first and then Fu second. I think it's Fu second. And then Han eventually. And it should only cost around about 220 seal scrolls in order to get any of these ninjas from these time limited treasures. We don't know if they carry over, so there's that as well. But you do get free draws, which is great. <sighs> enough battling. We have Random Battle. New Great Ninja War mode allowing eliminated teams and those that did not uh, apply to take part in battle. In the battle. Very interesting. Does this random battle have rewards? It would be very interesting if they did have rewards. That way people that did could not participate or apply for Great Ninja War can still battle and receive rewards for the event. Then you have the Sage World Arena. Attribute bonuses are not included in this mode. Wow. Except the percentage of initiative. Eh, as you would expect, allowing for extremely fair battles. Sage World Arena will probably, um, is basically Sage World Battlefield, but it has a, um, has a stabilizing, not like, uh, even playing field for people. So if you have the ninja, um, if you have the ninja, the ninjas will be equal. The only thing that will you will have advantage of is the initiative. And it says a percentage. It would just it would just be initiative in general. Then you have the season system. Complete missions earn coupon points and ninja fragments, and the chance to draw season tickets. Each season lasts for three months offering the chance to obtain more tools. Hmm. All of these are very interesting. Unfortunately, I do not know, for the life of me, of do not know any more information than, I, um, than I've already said and what we've read here. Whew. Uh, and now on to the last announcement. It is the version 5.0 new system introduction. Um, okay, interesting. Weekly Sun Scrolls has a cap of five, or it it is the maximum number you can you can rec you can gain from all all of the stuff. But I don't think that's true. I don't think I think that's actually a, there's an actual limit to how many you can gain. So that's a bit a little bit upsetting. Um, at the same time, at the same time. Um, not actually, it's not actually too bad. You don't have to work as you don't have to work as hard, because this will stop you from going overboard. Well, I mean, like a lot of people go overboard. I myself will go overboard. Well, I would if <laughs> I didn't know this existed. So the new two currencies are obviously the sun scroll and the moon scroll. Um, you have a new tool called the strange stones. Player's currency for various stores will be converting to sun and moon scrolls. Daily practice rewards and events will be updated to include these new currencies, which players can exchange in the new general goods store. New general goods store. For number one, event changes, um, event reward changes, sun scroll events, sage world battlefield, decisive bond, fighting mastery challenge, and the nine tails. Ooh, nine tails invasion. Rescue the Jinchuriki and Cat Quiz. Oh, excellent! Moon Scroll events will have team instances, a strong approaching, space time, ranking battles, arena, and inter exams, and decisive bonds. When obtaining um, sun, ah, sun scrolls and moon scrolls, each reach the initial weekly limit, does not calculate additional additions increasing does not calculate additions 
increasing up the limit. The power of the sun and moon scrolls will be activated. Increasing your line attribute until the end of the week. Hmm. Very interesting. So, along with the weekly limit, that actually gives you a power boost. Increasing the attributes of your lineup, we don't know how much, um, once you complete, I, I, I assume both of them. So it could stack, actually. So if you get the sun and the moon scroll activated, you get... <laughs> oh wait, it says right here. Um, power of the moon scroll, um, sun scroll, increases lineup health by 150 attack by 75 and defense by 75 while the moon scroll get increases your defense by 50 and resistance by 50 eh, not terribly strong but it's okay when sun and moon scrolls obtained through inheritance attendance and events um, reaches the weekly limit no further scrolls can be obtained for that week if the week obtained obtained scroll has yet to reach the weekly limit 50 percent of that weekly scroll will be passed on to the next week. Hmm. Wait, what? If no further scrolls can be obtained for that week. If the week week's obtained scroll has yet to reach the weekly limit, 50% of that week's scrolls will be passed on to the next week. I believe what it is getting at is that if I got 4,000 um, 4, out of 5,800 and the week ended, I will now have a new limit of plus 700. No, sorry, plus 600. Not 600, plus 900. So my new weekly limit for that week will be 6,700. Very interesting. I mean, that is kind of cool and makes sense. The power of the Sun and Moon Scroll, um, not not great, so you don't need to get it every week. And you can make up, and you can make it up. Hmm. Oh God, a lot of a lot of things to think about. But let me just run. Let me just try to run through this as as much as I'm taking this. Actually, I am actually reading this for the first time with you guys. So normally, normally I would read. Um, normally I would read this ahead, but I'm kind of short on time. Um, sun and Moon Scrolls and Strange Stones. We have not seen m many mentions of the usage of the Strange Stone yet. Um, can be used in the grocery storage room. So now we know <laughs> that it can be used in a storage room to purchase items um, still in stock. New items can be purchased in the Sun Scroll store and the Moon Scroll store. Rainbow Magatama's bells, clothing specific to the grocery store room can be found. The grocery store will receive new stock every day at 5. Item fully stocked will not receive extra stock. Then we have the group research slash group duty. This week's version 5.0 brings the opening of the long-awaited group research. Not really. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> this new system is very helpful to group members, not only to enhance attributes, but also for more incentive to participate in events. Let's explore the technology. Group R and D unit. R and D unit. group research and something group research and i think it's r and d i have no idea i have no idea what that stands for research can be done through the r and d unit oh okay i believe it's supposed to just stand for research and development and like it's just a just a technical name for thing through the weekly research um so research can be done through the r and d unit through the weekly research tab, the next week's research item can be set. The following week's research will activate at Monday at 5 each week, affecting the whole group. R&D machine research points. R&D um, machine level cannot exceed group level. The higher the R&D machine level, the faster research points are created. Once the R&D machine has reached its limits, research points can be bought using group funds. Oh. Research um, level limit will start at level 1 for each increase R&D machine level. Research level will increase by 3. Research points will start at 1 for each gain research level. Research point created increases by 1. Okay. 
Group research. Only group leaders, seniors, and scientists can spend R&D chips on research. Only group leaders, seniors, and scientists can set the research for the following week. The new week's research takes effect at 5 a.m. every Monday, upon which the week's research can no longer be changed. Cross-server related research can only be obtained after cross-server events have opened. Some research lasts two weeks. These cannot be changed for the entire duration. Some research cannot be set at the same time as others. Interesting. These probably not permanent. Let's have a look at this one. Bop, bop, bop. Fighting Mastery Challenge, Resurrection Mastery. Okay. We have Sage World Battlefield Rage Mastery. Okay. So it'll. So, huh. These are challenges. Arena Mission Mastery. Quiz. So, obviously, these. Tech level 1 mastery, then you have tech level 3 mastery, and all of that. It still does not explain what actually happens. Huh. But you can probably tell is that by participating in those of timed events, um, you gain research points, I'm guessing, or they relate to the particular bonus that we are researching. I am super confused. <laughs> Ooh, we have um, Team Ninja Exam. So, as I explained before, you have the normal and the extreme Ninja Exam. Each player has 10 assist points per week, so you can assist up to 10 times. If players are on different levels, an assist point will be spent to enter at the player's lowest level. Decide carefully before using the assist. They refresh every week. Normal Team Exam. Opening requirements. Um, complete single exam to level 120. Um, teams are limited to three people. There are a total of 40 levels. Wait, what? That's different from what was said before. There was a there was a 20 level limit before. Now it's saying 40. Participating requirements. There are minimum power levels requirements, of course, regarding creeps. Uh, levels can be swept after completion to obtain rewards. Then you have the extreme team exam, where it uh, where it opens after you complete level 20 of the normal one and you have group and you have a group composition of only two people levels there are only 20 levels in total participation there is a minimal power level requirement and regarding the sweep extreme team exam cannot be swept Whew. Mm -hmm. hmm. and then we have ninja collection the ninja click and mission of the Atlantic waves, Corner Heart Crush, Husky Approach, Pain Invasions. Huh. They kinda like they kinda like the names for our team instances. So um, new ninja collections on in the ninja menu. Unlocked after level twenty nine. So if you're not level twenty nine, you don't have access to this. Currently <coughs> sorry. The collection is divided into different scrolls, allowing for easy uh, for e easy checking and redeeming of ninjas. Currently, four scrolls, mission to the land of waves, Konoha Crush, Akatsuki Approaches, and Pain's Invasion. Ninjas collections can provide attribute bonuses, interesting, and exchanges for ninjas can be made. Hmm. New exchange function, the original trial store has been transferred to ninja collections, and the points obtained during trial store um, tri the survival trial can now be used to redeem ninja fragments in ninja collection. Naruto online management team. Ha 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 ha. Interesting. So, this is basically a whole bunch of ninjas where you can then now buy with coins, which is great. It means there's a whole bunch of more ninjas that you can buy stuff, or in this case, collect. Makes it very easy to get the ninjas you want and um, a good a good way to keep grinding out. Whew. Isn't this all exciting? And we get it all on the um, on the 16th of August, which is tomorrow according to this video, but this video won't probably be up until tomorrow anyway. Um, so <laughs> look forward to the update tomorrow because 5.0 is coming. We're going to have a lot of new stuff to look at since we are assuming that all of these functions will assuming that all of these functions will be present 
As we know in previous examples, not not everything that they've stated will appear, but we can sure as damn be sure, sorry, <laughs> that we will be at least seeing the um, sun scroll and the moon scroll and the changes to the shop. Ninja exam, I'm not too hopeful, but then again, I kind of want to see how difficult this is going to be. I really like P um, PvE stuff since I'm not competing against someone. In most cases, when you're competing against someone, normally you just feel for the other, feel bad for the other guy because you're beating them up. Well, that's just me. Anyway, that is everything um, that Oasis has given out in official announcements, anyway, um, for the 5.0 update. I'm Azakai. Have a nice day.